Uh, basically, the president may be talking more in terms of the land issues. Remember, Kwale County is one of the uh, one of the counties that uh, are facing serious issues surrounding the squatters and uh, the, the, la the, the land issue basically I I down here at the coast. So we expect maybe the president to talk more in terms of uh, land issue here in Kwale County. Betty. Francis, uh, thank you for that. So really, what has been the reception of the residents uh, in Mombasa or in the, in the coast region uh, generally? Because um, it has been really an opposition stronghold for a long time. But is that shifting? Francis, uh, thank you for that. So really, what has been the reception of the residents? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, that's a very uh, quite a hard question, Betty. But, uh, Given by the numbers, uh, it's still, this is still an opposition stronghold, given that uh, the opposition uh, can't significantly say that they still command a uh, sizable percentage. And uh, maybe as we head to the general election, we can't be able now to tell uh, how the numbers will be looking. But uh, Jubilee uh, has been making specifically to some uh, two or three counties, such like uh, Kwale County, where most of the leaders that uh, are sitting in government have shifted to the Jubilee side. So we'll be w waiting to see if uh, the leaders, such as the governor for Kwale, will be, be able to retain his seat now under the Jubilee tickets, as well as the uh, Kwale women representative, uh, uh, Madam Chizuga. So maybe the, the two leaders have been very vocal in terms of selling Jubilee in this country. County. And uh, the numbers are, seem to be uh, trying to tell maybe there the, are the, some of the locals are trying to, to shift to the other side, but uh, largely this is an opposition stronghold, so we would expect uh, uh, the, the opposition to be uh, commanding a sizable percentage to this region and specifically Kwale County.